Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 through 8. The Reverend Kevin Robson is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from the Revelation of St. John, the 21st chapter. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice out of heaven from God, saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man, He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment. The one who conquers will have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. O Lord, have mercy on us. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen. It is done, come into being. That which formerly was, is no longer. When the Lord declared from his cross, it is finished, he had in mind this very glorious day of resurrection and resolution, a hope fulfilled. The first heaven and the first earth are no more. They are not annihilated out of existence, but behold, they are utterly new, recreated, remade into something far better and more appropriate for a people remade, transformed, resurrected. By divine decree, once again by His creating word, God has made it so in order to provide a suitable, yes, and all is very good, permanent habitation for those whose sinless lives henceforth will extend into and throughout eternity. His people and their immortality in holiness 
will be found only in their proper and permanent home. They are with God who resides and rules in their midst. The individuals who make up that multitude, every one of them, you, the righteous in Christ, will be given to see this with your own eyes. You and all of them constitute a communion of conquerors who enjoy a personal status of favored sonship. God's Son has bestowed upon you such favor, including you in His victory over the enemy, His triumph delivered in the Word, a Word that was proclaimed and applied, that powerful Word that has raised us all from death into life. It is evident that not everyone will be part of this sonship this glorious heritage, this true and trustworthy promise set down by St. John in writing for the benefit of the church. From that list of conquerors residing forever in that new home with the Father, at the head of those excluded are the cowardly and the faithless. Where there is not faith in Christ, There is no legitimate basis for courage whatsoever. The idolaters, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, the practitioners of sorcery, the unbelievers and pagans, all of them will be excluded too. Those who lack repentance are God's enemies and accompanied with nothing but their trespasses, having paid the wages of sin, Another death awaits them, a second and permanent death in a lake that burns forever with fire and sulfur. But that is not for the baptized faithful of God. All of these joys and blessings, virtually indescribable, impossible to capture with mere human words, the dwelling place of the perfection in brilliant, unending light in God's glory, the spring of the water of life, the eternal praise and worship, even the very faith by which you and I and all the saints received all these things and the means of grace all during this perilous journey through the valley of the shadow of death without exception all of these are gift of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You didn't pay for these with your sacrificial gifts or commendable works. Granted, your gifts and good deeds are certainly present, springing forth from your font-born identity, but they are the fruit of a baptismal saving faith, active in love. Your love for God, your love for your neighbor is the effect, not the cause. In God's economy, He owes you nothing. For every instance in which you prayed as an empty-handed beggar in repentance and faith, Lord, have mercy. Here is His final triumphant answer. Behold, I am making all things new. Behold, my living and my life is with you in your midst. Behold, I will wipe away every tear from your eyes. Death is no longer. Behold, your grieving, your weeping, your suffering, your hurts, the formless chaos and deep terrors that swirled and swarmed about you in your fearful walk through a fallen creation, ruined, frustrated by your rebellion and your transgression. All of those things are gone vanished. And none of them, not even sin, death, or the devil will ever be present again to cause any separation 
between God and man, between me and you. As the Apostle John himself said in another place and time, everyone who has been born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that has conquered the world, our faith. Saving faith that grasps what God has ordained from eternity. Only that faith that finds its foundation in the Word of God and its only object and end as the incarnate and resurrected Jesus. Only that faith gives rise to genuine courage in the face of the world's persecution and Satan's attacks. And it is never the other way around. We rely on, we dwell in the reality of such divine promise. Behold, I am making all things new. Though buffeted and stressed out on every side by plague and pestilence, wars and earthquakes and hurricanes, injustices, broken relationships, human suffering of every kind, we confess together that one day these, yes, sin and death itself, they will all be the former things. And with determination and humility, we train our gaze forward upon that decisive moment when time will end and a holy city, a new Jerusalem, comes down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Finally, we will be home with him forever for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for chapel. Today we pray for the Reverend Dan and Joan Jastrom who serve the Lord in Japan. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org slash chapel.